and it uh, tells the story of connection to art and music. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is the value. Yeah. You see, uh, your work shows that it is valuable to be together. Okay. Yeah. It is such a story, and you see, value is with it. I also have the story drawing, and uh, for us it was this morning when we were going on the train, and we had uh, the ticket from yesterday, mm -hmm. and we didn't know that it was not okay to go on the ah. train with them. <laughs> uh, so the look on his face like, eh? ah. and we're just, well, doesn't it work? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is the one with the cloud in the middle. This? No, that cloud. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't know, I drew it because I was like, connecting it to the, the feelings or like what I saw of like a relaxed and enjoyable mm -hmm. aspect of climate change. Like if we lived in a dream world, so the clouds represent like relaxing and then I have like snoring effects and like smileys and then I thought about like the worms there are like worms inside of the cloud so that would be like worms in the soil but here they, they are happy so they have smiley, smiley faces and then uh, like bubbles all around so like, relax I was thinking about like relaxing in the bathtub so. <laughs> It's if really weird. I think I'm the only one who can interpret it. But you see, it is so easy and uh, light. The people and the nature, they play the game. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, people are winning. And so you can see those hoops. They are not like regular ones. They are like in the form of because they are already have diseases. Mm -hmm. And those black points on the hand it's like people killing themselves, but by this wind, mm -hmm. and uh, all around you can see like uh, gas, uh, fire, flooding, uh, mm -hmm. radiation. Mm -hmm. So the more uh, more this uh, people side winning, more we destruct this game. So it's like eating itself. And for me, it was important that I was. Um, Trying also to draw to draw my own hand to show that all of us are a part of this game. Like it's it's me, it's you, and everyone. Okay. You see, you start with a game, mm -hmm. and then you play a big story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, story. Yeah, it's very good. So yesterday we was um, we were talking about. <coughs> Uh, this situation um, here you can see one uh, common plant uh, which is sad and dark yeah. yes because uh, it should leave this meadow and uh, some other uh, invasive plants come in this meadow and feel uh, happy strong full with energy and uh, yes it's opposites yeah. and so what the, the, what about your process Ah, and about process, yes, I was uh, sure about uh, my idea and my point of view, uh, which I want to share with you. Mm -hmm. So, the sad plant and the uh, healthy one. Yeah. I have this uh, drawing uh, of my artwork with green color. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I took the risk to show the problem question of nature survival in our technology world. Um, uh, yes, that uh, nature tried to survive in big cities in uh, our concrete, uh, concrete uh, mm -hmm. constructions. Um, and I meant uh, I took. It took the effort for me to paint the problem question and look at it. It was thought about climate change also. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I was worried. I was worried about the way we communicate each other and communicate about the issue and communicate what we want to talk about in here. And I was trying to find some things that 
did not make sense to me when we're in this space necessarily. The first thing I thought about was today's lunch. And I thought that, okay, I haven't seen today's lunch yet. So I went to the lunch place and that was a cantina. And it really spoke to me that in the door at the cantina, two things were red. A circle says that you have to keep two meters of distance. Mm -hmm. And the visa card you, that says that you can pay by all different kind of card. And I think that it tells us a message because as I was sitting at outside of the door, I see that students and teachers are sitting at different tables. There's something that says a lot about how we're creating this social structure and how we're creating this social distance. And necessarily that being a cantina and being a place where we're supposed to connect with each other, it didn't make sense why on the door the only sign is keep two meters of distance and you can pay by all the methods. I think that that says a lot about climate change and all kind of problems we have today when we're not relating with each other and when we're relating to something else completely.